I had never been to Belize before and it's actually a really lush, beautiful rainforest climate. It's so gorgeous, it's so green. Today I get to do all the most fun adventures. I'm ziplining, I'm gonna go swimming with sharks and stingrays. I think we have to take like a jumper plane to go get there. So, you know, I like to fill my days with some activities and I think we're doing the most today. We are here at the zipline park in Belize. I am about to go in and get all geared up. We're gonna have our little safety talk and meet our guy. Hi. Hello. Okay. Victor. Victor. Yeah. Setting me up. Number one of your guides. Thank you, you so can much. Hold on to my shoulder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> gotta strap me in tight. We gotta be safe here. I'm shooting tomorrow, so no injuries. Get ready to get sexy, people. We are walking up to where we're about to be flying. It's a nice little hike in the moist jungle. Air Force is still doing okay, but the red mud is about to attack. So this is what's gonna take us across. So each cable can hold up to 26,000 pounds. Feel ready, I've never controlled my own speed on a zip line before, so let's hope this works. Okay, okay. ready? Good to go. Ah! <laughs> Our first one went great. You control the actual speed with this, but I think it's actually maybe better because when I've done it before, you spin in a 360 and this way you get to stay straight. So you get to enjoy the beautiful scenery. To go fast, what you can do is speed up and lean back. That's okay. the way to go fast, okay? Speed demon. Get ready. One, two. <laughs> Over yet. It's a workout. <laughs> okay, made it. I mean, honestly, he was like, if you want to go fast, you have to put your legs up. And that is an ab workout if I've ever had one. Try to keep your legs up and lean back while you're flying through the air. <gasps> air Force One review after zip lining. Not terrible. Still thriving. Just finished zip lining. We drove over here to this tiny little airport in the middle of Belize. We're taking a small little plane, 30 minute ride to a golf cart, to a boat, to get to an island, to then swim with sharks and stingrays. It's very exciting. It's a beautiful day to fly. We're now going to jump into a golf cart, to a boat, to then go to the sharks and the stingrays. So follow along, it's only just begun. So I always understood a nurse shark was like a nursery shark, like a baby shark. But apparently they can actually get quite big. The good news is they don't enjoy human flesh, so that's a positive. The stingrays, however, don't fuck with them. Look, there's two sharks right there. Three, two! We just got back from swimming with sharks. It was so cool. I was definitely nervous and they were definitely bigger than I was expecting, but they grass. They were very chill. They did have kind of crazy buggy eyes and looked a little 
scary because you couldn't tell where they were looking, but they allowed us to go very close to them. Like I got close enough that I felt like I might have been able to reach out and touch one. The bottom was all beautiful seagrass that they would sometimes lay in. It was just such a cool, special experience. And now I get to say I've swum with sharks, which I never have done before. I just finished up an amazing adventure day in Belize. Most people probably come here for the beach or the rainforest. We kind of took it to another level and we went zip lining in the middle of a rainforest that was so beautiful. And then we took a van to a plane. We flew to Key Cocker, the island that we're on right now that has no cars. So we took a golf cart to a boat, which then took us out into the ocean. We swam with sharks and rays. There were so many sharks everywhere. I was definitely a little bit nervous going in, but as much as they were big, they were also gentle. Completed such an amazing adventure day. This is Kate Bach signing off from Belize.